Are you considering a manufactured home in a Florida land lease or resident owned community? If so, you got to know the deal. Park rules are a big part of that deal. Want to know more? Stay tuned. In this video, we will explore some of the common rules associated with community living. Manufactured home communities, resident owned or land lease, all have rules. It's important you understand and agree to abide by the rules before you buy a home in a park. In short, you gotta know the deal. Join me as we explore some of the common rules found in these parks. Can these rules change? You betcha. We'll talk about how that happens too. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and to educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. In the early days, rules were set by the owner or the developer with little or no regulation. They changed them whenever they felt the urge. Today we have statutes protecting us from such practices. You can review the actual statutes on our website. In land lease parks, the rules are an attachment to the prospectus. In co-ops, they are in the published rules of the association. Condominium rules are contained in the Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions document. Where a homeowners association exists in a subdivision, the rules will be set by the homeowners association. Additional rules may be found in the Declaration of Covenants. Let's look at some of the specific areas covered by park rules and see what might be a deal breaker in any given community. There will be a set of occupancy requirements. Whether it's in an ROC or a land lease community, you will need to be approved for residency. Most communities require a credit check and often a background check as well. In 55 plus communities, age limitations can be a part of the rules. If you are bringing a home into the community or have ordered a new one for installation, the rules will cover things like setback distances and placement on the lot. Most communities have additions that are required for every home in the park. You will need to add these in new installations and replace them, if they're missing, in a pre-owned home. Anything outside the home is subject to regulation under park rules. Often paint colors, skirting changes, or trees and shrubs must be approved. Even patio furniture may be prohibited. Parking in driveways and carports may be limited strictly to vehicles and golf carts. Even the number of vehicles parked there may be regulated. Boats, RVs, trailers, and basically anything but a passenger vehicle can only park there for loading, unloading, and in some parks, washing. While the washing of vehicles is normally allowed, oil changes or any maintenance in the driveway is normally prohibited. The rules provide specifics as to where your responsibility starts with each utility. It should also cover who is responsible for maintaining electrical pedestals or other utility enclosures on the lot. Fencing and sometimes even privacy screening is prohibited in many parks. The responsibility for tree maintenance is a common misunderstanding by new residents. Tree trimming, sometimes required on an annual basis, can be quite expensive. In most parks, the trees on your lot are your responsibility. Where does your lot start and stop? What trees are really yours and what happens if they're diseased or dead are questions best answered before you sign the rental agreement. You may want to cut your expenses by renting your home. Parks that allow subletting or renting will require the renters to qualify 
and written permission is often needed. Be sure to check how frequently you can rent and the minimum and maximum periods you can rent for. The policies covering overnight guests are pretty uniform. A guest may stay up to 15 consecutive days at a time, but for no more than 30 days a year. Yes, relatives are counted as guests. Parks vary widely on access to amenities for those only visiting for the day. If you have family nearby, this is something you need to be very clear on. You'll be quite upset when your grandkids that live two towns over are not allowed in the pool unless they're staying overnight. Some parks charge a fee for extended stays and others simply don't allow it. Guest policy is one you really want to be clear on before you buy. The clubhouse and amenities will have their own sets of rules. Often, guests must be accompanied by the resident when using the facilities. In some parks, residents can reserve the clubhouse for private parties, weddings, or other family events. Be sure you understand the insurance requirements. Check to see if there are any special rules or requirements to use the kitchen. The pool is a social center in the park. In recent years, non-smoking and the prohibition of alcoholic beverages has become more common. Hours for guests and children may also be in the rules. An extra wide driveway might be a good idea if you have more than one car. Parking on the street is often prohibited. Speed limits and traffic signs are also part of the park rules. Residents are responsible for their conduct and the conduct of their guests. They must conduct themselves so as to not interfere with the peaceful enjoyment of the community by others. Some parks prohibit pets entirely. Others limit the number of pets and or the size of the pet. Where pets are allowed, there may be fees and registration requirements. It's common also today to find certain dog breeds prohibited. If you are offered an exception to these rules, be sure to get it in writing. Dogs must be on leash and you must pick up after your pet. If you are granted an exception to these rules, be sure to get it in writing. There is much more on this topic in my book, Retirement in Florida, Manufactured Homes, and the Land Lease Option. If community living interests you, I suggest you review my other videos and see if a manufactured home community will meet your needs. Just click on my picture or the channel title below. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this information helpful. It really helps the channel. You can leave comments below as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.